The problem of signal amplification has existed since the very invention of telegraphy as the first means of communications. When the signal was discrete, dash, dot, it could in most cases be amplified by an electromagnetic relay. But with the coming of telephony, that method became no longer fitted as it failed to transmit the required band of the frequency signal. The relay switch frequency was about several hundred hertz at the most. That's why people needed a proper device that would manage the task of amplification. And the first invention of the kind was the valve amplifier developed by Wilton Lancaster based on the audion created by Lee D. Forrest. The author proposed two options for building this circuit, enabling amplification of the signal coming through its wind line, supplying power to the audio required two batteries, a 2 to 4 volts A battery and a 22 volts B battery. The input signal went through the matching transformer and feed through capacity and then reached the grid. After amplification, the signal followed to the primary winding of the output transformer. Constant shift to the grid that takes place between the anode and the grid was enabled by high ohmic resistance connection in the circuit. Despite the simplicity of such circuit, it helped to solve the problem of remote wire and wireless communication.